Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to the Messy Desk. Today we're going to be making some embellishments for our Reader's Digest journal. This is our journal that we're making in the Beginner's Junk Journal series. If you like journals and paper crafting, this might just be the place for you to hang out. If you like using up all your scraps, every little tiny piece possibly, <laughs> um, this might be the place for you. And you can find us every day at 1030 Pacific Time here on the Dear Julie Julie channel with a new idea, a uh, crafty idea, or a shopping haul. Um, and while we're home, we'll be here every weekday at four o'clock. So this is our four o'clock beginner series junk journal we're making our fourth journal in this series and it's our readers digest and I had these items on my desk from the last project and I decided I would go ahead and make five little cards okay so this is what prompted it is these five little cards and so we're just gonna go ahead and cut these apart this is from that book of scrap paper, scrapbook paper called Beach House that I had picked up um, quite a while ago at Hobby Lobby. And it is, it matches this journal really well. And I think I, because I can use these for um, tags, for, for all the different things, I think this will be, you know, tags, flips, tucks, all the different things. So, um, I am going to use this paper okay so we'll end up backing this with something but I love this hound's tooth and this is I think we use this on um, we did use this in here oh we used it on the inside cover okay so this is our journal that we're working on it is a vintage readers digest and I was able to keep the cover which I love. Okay, so to start off with, for the first one, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it right in the center of, you know, kind of in the center, <laughs> sort of, <laughs> kind of, sort of. And let's see, let's go ahead, grab some book paper. And we'll go ahead and use our glue stick. So let's get it started okay and here we go okay so um, yeah so if you're here for the premiere I'm waving hi and welcome we do this channel right now in the premiere format we were doing live videos and with the extreme use of the YouTube right now um, several people were not able to just even get on the internet and hold a live video I mean to, to be able to watch so we um, have decided to do this format so you're watching a pre-recorded video if you're here on the premiere and I am hopefully probably in the chat and able to watch it along with you. So let's go ahead and we'll get a couple more of these ready. So let's go ahead and whoop. And do one on each side. Okay, and I've told you before, when you're making something that's similar, it can make things very, very, very fast because your brain has already come up with the idea. So now you just have to execute it. Ex exec you know what I mean. <laughs> that didn't sound right. You just have to do it. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, making four of something is going to take you barely as long as, you know it's it's going to be faster if you can make them in a batch or assembly line so there we go 
and there we go and I'm not real worried that they're whether they're all the same size and all that I just want them to be similar okay so again I have put together a variety of items that I can use and I fussy cut out some of the shell images from the at the beach digital and I have some of the stamp images and the smaller images from the Beach Beauties collection series that I'm using as well. Okay, so we have we have four of those ready and then we have one regular, just plain one, but we have four. And so, okay, so another thing that I had on my desk was a couple of these die cut. I punched them actually with my scallop punch and they're, they have their cork. So they're sticky back cork. And I think we can just go ahead and you know what we've got, while we're at it, we can put that on two of them. Let's see, let's put them on these two. These do say stuff down at the bottom of them put this one up higher just just cuz okay and let's see then we have the shells so we cut out four shells and if we have that and then okay <laughs> sometimes these little things drive me crazy, but I am saving them. They're going in the garden. <laughs> I have a, a thing over here. They're going into the garden. Okay, so we have these with the kids. And I kind of like, kind of like that. Let's just go ahead and cut across. I was originally thinking even just like this, just with the, the seashell on it. So if you wanted to do something really simple, you could just do that. Just, just like that. That was what I was originally thinking. And then my brain went, oh, but you could do this and you could do this. And, you know, then it was like, okay, I should do this. <laughs> so here I am doing this. <laughs> we can always go back and add some of those. Because I do still have a couple more of the pages from the scrapbook paper. And, of course, I can run off, can print more more of the digitals. Okay, so there's that. Then I do have this washi tape, and you've seen it before, but we're getting down to the end. And I thought, oh, we can go ahead and attach our pictures with washi tape, like it was in a scrapbook, right? Okay. So there you've got that. And then we've got this little piece of washi left. And um, like I said, I like to use every little piece. We're going to just put that right up there. Okay, so what we have is we have the beach words from the um, At the Beach Pages kit. And so we are going to go ahead and we are going to make our own stickers here. So I have my double-sided tape. And it says, nothing soothes the soul like a walk on the beach. Just think of the beach and smile. Don't grow up too quickly lest you forget how much you love the beach. Can we fit all that on there? 
I'm gonna try. Okay, so let's see. It is the one to the third one. So I'm gonna go ahead and line this up. I'm figuring that someday I'm probably gonna wanna use those other ones. Whoops. Okay, and then we can go ahead and cut this out. And we've done this, it's been a while since we did this. I did this on the, um, oh my gosh, I know I did it on the Alice in Wonderland envelope that I made. Oh, for Happy Mail, a long time ago. Okay, so don't grow up too quickly, lest you forget how much you love the beach. Okay, love the beach, how much you, lest you forget. How about we go, don't grow up too quickly. So don't grow up Okay, so here we go. We'll just go ahead and undo this just like that. Okay, so we have don't. I thought that this was a be a good scene with these with the kids and the moms at the beach. Don't grow up too quickly. So originally I had the stuff out to go do snippets. And <laughs> then I I had another idea. And then I had another idea. Does this ever happen to you? Like, just all these ideas. One right after the other. It is so windy. Um, and my back hurts, so I'm not in the yard today. I did get everything off of the hot tub. So hoping that Tom will set it up so that it will be working. I told him, I said, either we're going to get this one working or I'm going to buy a new one. It just makes sense if we've got one to use the one we've got. He just hates the electric bill to go up. But I go up, but we, you know, it's basically water storage is what it is. Okay, so don't grow up too quickly. Oh, look at we've got a little, got a little problem here, Houston. Okay. Okay, so this journal actually does have white pages in it, so. I'm not, um, I might distress some things just because of the sandy look, but probably not because we have a lot of, of white pages. And so I'm going for the, 
the both. Okay, so now I have this and it, I'm not really remembering what exactly this came from, but you can see that it's netting. And I was like, oh, that looks like ocean stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and use our fabric tack to put this down. And then remember, we are going to be backing this, so that will that will help us out. The fact that we're that we were already planning on backing this. Okay, so getting enough glue out to go ahead and have it hold this this net stuff. Okay. And I guess we'll have to we'll have to glue it down on the front too. You know what, if we just put it on here. Okay. Bring it down around the edge like that. Okay, you see that? You've got it around the edge. Then we can come back and I'm, ha I'm having a little trouble here with my, it's not coming out fast enough. <laughs> See my my pokey. Okay. Okay, that's much better. Okay. Now, what do we want to put? So there's that. I want to put something on the back. to give you journaling area. I think we'll go ahead and, and move it over though because it's okay that you see that, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready, go like that. You hear my my wind chimes are really going at it today <laughs> again. It's so windy. Okay, so go across and then go ahead and trim this off. Careful not to trim off the. The net. Okay, so there's that. And let's see. I thought I would like that, but I don't. Okay, how about we put a little envelope there? These are part of the mini embellishments from the kit. It might be from the mini journal part of the Beach Beauties kit. This is the kit that was made in 2019. 
and it has uh, postcard pages and ephemera. And that is what I have been using for this. Okay, so there's our little envelope. I love to do the envelopes when when I have them they're not in all my kits so but when they are I think they're really fun to use one of my favorite things that I've made is uh, an envelope that had a um, there was a paper clip I think it was really cute Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll this will work good because it's going on the cork and the the netting fabric. Okay, and then we can come up here and find an image to go in here. I'll just put the put her right in there. Just like that. Just just like that. A little card. And heck, while we're at it, we've got this little teeny tiny tag. I think we should put it in there also. I mean, what else are we going to do with it? Probably lose it on the table. There's a little teeny tiny tag and that. Okay. And if all else fails, you can go ahead and use a shell up at the top. But I think this is I think this is really cute. So there's card number one. So card number two, this one says the seashore. And so let's see. We have her, and she's at the seashore, and I think that that is just really, really cute that she's at the seashore like that. And I think on this one, we'll take our our netting and we'll make it the this up at the top. And even if this ends up being a we're going to go ahead and use the tiny attacher. Okay. So even if that ends up being a tuck or something, I think that that's still really cute there. Okay. So how, let's see, we've got that shell. We have this shell. Kind of like that. Okay, um, we do have the really pretty paper as well. So we're just collaging. I kind of just like just the shell and that. Okay. the book page. I lost the book. Oh well, here's, here's page. Okay. We'll put that. Okay. And then add this.
we just come back here and add a pocket. Okay. And use our regular glue. Go ahead and cut that. So very, very simple. I like this. And remember, we use these on the covers of all the um, of all the signatures. Okay, there's that. We can put her on there. She just fits perfect. Okay, here's one that says, just think of the beach and smile. Let me see if I can find. Oh, it's on the desk. That's what I was like. Where did it go? Okay, I'm going to cut this one in half. We'll just line this up just like that. And since there's author unknown, I'm just going to just do just think of the beach and smile. How are we going to put these on? See, you can go ahead. Just think of a beach and smile. I like that. closer in. So I did go in and change the font on these beach words. And you can um, you can do that. There we go. There we go. Again, like it's in a scrapbook and the extra piece. Okay. 
So there's two. And this one is, oh, we did that up at the corner. Let's do, let's do this one first, okay. This one's Sea Life. <laughs> you know, you know what we have. We have these. And I'm thinking, Too big. Here we go. This is a brown pelican. This is also in one of the at the beach digital kits. These right here. Okay, so we're gonna go around the pelican. You could rip it. Okay, so there's that. Then we've got his um, his about. <laughs> okay, it says Sea Life, Volume Six. It says that down there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, glue this down, and then I'll play with the, the pelican picture. So these are the words. I'm going to pull this to the left. Okay. Pull that to the left. I'm leaving where it says Sea Life Volume 6 down here. Now, whether somebody actually sees that or not, you know, that remains to be seen. But we'll know that we left it there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this net. In... A squarish. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and trim this up a little bit. So we have a little bit of room that we can get here. And we can come down here. I don't want to take off the artist if I. There we go. And we're just going to go ahead and use the tiny attacher. So we attached it around up in that area. We have the the netting and we have some really tiny. Oh, here's Um, but we do have some really tiny um, of the of the stamps pictures, stamp size pictures. There they are. the postal scissors
this on and I think I think we'll be able to do it with with the fabric tag. Okay, and then let's see if there's a word. Golly. Yeah, I don't think I like any of those really. Okay, so we need a short saying. Keep calm and beach on. You can never have too much beach. Or you know what? There's already white on there. I think we'll just leave this. Let's go ahead and use some of the washi. Oh, we don't want to cover up sea life. Okay, and this piece got glue from my fingers on it, so. Okay, so that's three. And let's try this one here. So again, we wanna do something a little different. I kinda like the idea of the shell. the shells. Of course we have them. I like I like them. Okay, I like this. I like that very much. Okay. Um Okay, for this, we're gonna want a little bit of a pop-up. So I happen to have a little pop-up. So we'll do the pop-up and then put glue up in this corner. So it's popped up and even with with that and then we were going to go ahead and so we want to pop up our shell okay so what we're going to do is we'll come up here and pop up this okay and I'm gonna put this on. We're gonna need to cut a little bit off. Okay, put that down there. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so I put this other piece on here because you know, no piece goes to waste. And then I'm going to go ahead and put glue on this top edge. Right up to the edge there. OK, 
Okay, so there we've got that look with the pop-up. Now, what we've got going on here is we do have this. I wonder if we can... I should have thought of this before, right? I mean, why else would we have this giant needle on our table? It's so that we can thread it through something when we forgot. Okay. Did you see that? I almost... So there's that. And we'll come over to this side and put a little underneath here. That gives us texture. I like texture in my in my journals. So and of course it is gonna be it's gonna be fluffy. That is of is fluffiness. Um Oh, we forgot to put the the author of the saint on that one. So let's go find it. If I can get it off. Okay, so um, what did this one say? Nothing soothes the soul like a walk on the beach. Look at there. <laughs> that wasn't even on purpose, you guys. Or was it? Should we go up here? Nothing soothes the soul like a walk on the beach. Okay. Here we go. Okay, nothing. So we're making our own word stickers. And of course, you can use um, the word stickers like. Uh, small talk and chit chat that are um, by Tim Holtz but you can also make your own and I think there's seven or eight sheets of of sayings there's a poem all kinds of things but this is a I think pretty fast and easy way to be able to get some words. So if you're here for the first time, I want to say hi and welcome. Um, I hope that you'll consider subscribing 
and coming and hanging out with us at 1030 and at 4 o'clock weekdays, 1030 every day Pacific time. Um, we are usually paper crafting. Our 4 o'clock is that beginner series like we're doing right here. Just trying to give you lots of ideas all in one place that you can just go ahead and... Um, these are journals start to done on this channel or on at the four o'clock. Um, it shows you how to do everything, how to even how to bind them, <laughs> and sometimes how not to do things. Okay, so there we go. So that gives us four of these cards that we're going to be able to take and um, add to our journal. And um, we can, we'll be able to use them um, however we want to. We can go ahead and put them. I'm not going to add backs to the, any of these other ones um, in case they were to be a tuck or to go on um, something bigger. But we have, we have these and then we have these two that have the backs already decorated. Um, I love this with the envelope, the little envelope. I love using the netting. You guys, I've used ribbon and netting before. I did a Under the Sea wedding album and I will attach the playlist for that down below. If you like the beach, there's some great ideas in that um, playlist and the wedding album turned out absolutely beautiful. It was it really was under the sea. It had Ariel and Sebastian and um, Eric and all of the all of the players in the that that movie. So in the book. So there you go. I love them. Which one is your favorite? I think uh, you guys. I I don't know. I like them all, and I think they're going to be a great addition to our little Reader's Digest journal. Um, and we will be, we, we will be, uh, putting the signatures in very, very soon. Sewing them in very soon. So there you go. Um, yeah. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that YouTube will maybe tell you when we are, when we have a video up. And if they don't, like we said, we've got that schedule, 1030 and 4. And we'd love to have you come and hang out. So if you're here, make sure you say hi and introduce yourself so that the community can welcome you here. Find something to celebrate every day. And hopefully soon we get to go to the beach. Have an amazing day. Bye. Bye-bye.